Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and welcome to quite an exciting video. I'm excited. So today's video is an unboxing of this box of books. It's not actually as heavy as I as I expected it to be so I'm excited to find out what's in here um, because today I am here championing for you the Books of My Bag Readers Award. So you may well be familiar with Books of My Bag. I've worked with them before doing the Independent Bookshop Week Cozy Reading Night. Um, they tend to send me one of their wonderful bookish uh, bags which are designed by different designers every year. I hope there's one in here too. Um, and um, this year I'm here to champion for you the Books of My Bag Readers Award as I said. Now these are book awards and they're the only book awards that are um, where the awards are curated by bookshops and the winners are voted for by readers. Readers like you, readers like I. At the end of this video I'm going to be going onto the Books of My Bag website and voting for the books that I want to win in the six different categories that have been announced today on the 6th of October. So there's six different categories. Um, Non-fiction, fiction, I don't know why I've gone that way around. Uh, poetry, young adult fiction, children's fiction, and breakthrough author. Now, breakthrough author is the um, the shortlist that Books in My Bag have asked me to champion today, and I'm very excited to champion them, even though I don't even know what's on the shortlist yet. It was sent through to me as a surprise. Um, when Cara got in touch, she said, oh, do you want it to be a surprise, or do you want me to tell you now? I said, oh, no, do it as a surprise, because it would be fun to open it with you guys here. And the breakthrough authors category is um, a great, exciting category. <clears throat> because it's about authors that have had an amazing breakthrough in 2022. So it might not be that they're published in 2022, it might not be that they're a debut author in 2022, but something breakthrough has happened for them in 2022. So I'm very, very excited. Shall we open them? And then I'll tell you a little bit more about the voting. We, I'll vote at the end. You guys can tell me who you think you'd vote for. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's open it. So let's see if that, yes, I can see that the back is here. So. Oh, all the books are in the bag. Oh my God, perfect. Great idea. So as I said, this is gorgeous. I had seen a little um, copy of this, what this was going to look like. So every single year there is a book, that uh, there's a bag that um, Books My Bag bring out, uh, designed by different uh, designers. This is designed by Jackie Morris. And for me, this is just screaming autumn. It's got a beautiful fox on it. It's got these great red panels. And then here there's a poem russet she curled in dreams behind the bookshop and are those dreams inspired by sleeping pages nestled between cover resting on shelf my dreams she said are wild dreams a woven web of wonder sweet honeycomb against the dark oh gorgeous and then within that poem they've they've made in gold books are my bag isn't that just lovely so yeah let's have a look at the books recognize that okay so this is so exciting so there's four books on the breakthrough author shortlist one of which i recognize let's have a look oh okay so two of which i recognize um and here we go so let let me let me show you that's the spine so the first one is heaven by miko kawakami uh, this was also shortlisted for the international uh, booker prize as well so this is from the same author um who wrote the book breast and eggs which i do have on my shelf so it says here and, and also time have made it the uh, 100 must read books of 2021 so in a japanese school we meet a 14 year old boy subjected to relentless torment for having a lazy eye he chooses to suffer in silence instead of fighting back the only person who understands what he is going through is a female classmate, Kojima, who experiences similar treatment at the hands of her bullies. Providing each other with consolation at a time in their lives when they need it most, the two young friends grow closer than ever. But what ultimately is the nature of a friendship when your shared bond is terror? Unflinching yet tender, sharply observed, intimate and multi-layered, Heaven stands as yet another dazzling testament to Mieko Kawakami's uncontainable talent. Simple but profound, there can be little doubt that it has cemented her reputation of one of the most important young authors at work today. That sounds amazing. And it's quite short as well. So it is a less than 200 pages. That sounds amazing. Then I've got here Bunny vs. Monkey, Rise of the Maniacal Badger. Um, and this is the best comic, best-selling comic sensation. Can the funniest ever rivals work together? And this is by Jamie Smart. So if we have a look inside, it is a comic. It says, welcome to the woods where a new evil genius has taken over. Monkey, we have to stop the maniacal badger together. And that looks like a banner he's saying that. Yes, of course, because it's Bunny vs. Monkey. Monkey says, oh, I have the best plan. And then there's sort of chaos going on where Monkey's driving a car. He's saying, honk, honk, help what? And then Bunny's saying, how does this help? 
and then there's a big badger saying somehow I thought taking over the woods would be harder than this. So yeah, this is uh, one of the best children's comics of all time, apparently. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to reading that. That looks so fun. This looks as though it might be a little bit too old for my niece, but I definitely think we'd like having a look through this together. The colours and everything in it are brilliant. Oh, amazing. Then the next one is one that I've read many times, actually, and um, has been a real moment for me this year. And that's the first um, volume of Heartstopper um, by Alice Oseman. This has been made into a Netflix series this year. Um, and Dave and I watched it. It's one of my favourite things. Probably the favourite, probably my, the best thing that I've watched this year so far. It's just so pure and lovely. Um, so that's why I assume Alice Oman has been um, included here because of the big breakthrough in Netflix on her Netflix series. Um, so it's about two boys who meet at school, they become friends, and then they become, they fall in love with each other. It's about Nick and Charlie. Um, they're both adorable, both have uh, flaws, and um, you get really get to know them and their group of friends. It's a wonderfully diverse story. The, um, the illustration illustrations and everything are so wonderfully um pulled together and really like heartfelt and sometimes as you can see this page that I've opened here there's not all that much text you really get a feel from the story just from the illustrations um and yeah I loved I love the story I, I love the series and I love this as well um, and then I've got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin um I've seen this included in so many people's like books that they've really loved this year I got this out from the library um and it had a two-week uh, wait on it and I gave it to David he's not but never gonna read a book in two weeks and he didn't get around to finishing it so we had to send it back to the library so delighted that this is here because it means now we own a copy and I can read it this is not a romance, but it is about love. Two kids meet in a hospital gaming room in 1987. One is visiting her sister, the other is recovering from a car crash. The days and months are long there. They're uh, along there. Their love of video games becomes a shared world of joy, escape, and fierce competition. But all too soon, that time is over, fades from view. When the pair spot each other eight years later in a crowded train station, they're catapulted back to that moment. The spark is immediate, and together they get to work on what they love, making games to delight, challenge, and immerse players, finding an intimacy in digital worlds that eludes them in their real lives. Their collaborations make them superstars. This is the story of the imperfect world Sadie and Sam build, the imperfect world they live in, and of everything that comes after success. Money, fame, duplicity, and tragedy. I'm desperate to look what's underneath. Oh, it's um, silver on the spine as well. So, yeah. Well, what an exciting collection of books. So, one that I had read and loved and enjoyed the series of one that i've heard of and ha did have designs to read one that i think is going to be super super fun and then this also sounds like it's going to be really really interesting so what a wonderful sort of four books that would go on uh, that are in the breakthrough author category now as i said these awards are curated by bookshops um and uh, able to vote for by the um by the readers and that's what i'm going to do now so i'm heading over to the website now i'll talk you through it and then maybe if you fancy um, you can go and um, you can go and vote. Um, I'll link everything down below that you need to go and vote, and then let me know um, what you voted for. So I'm just accepting my cookies. Yum yum yum. So let's go to the first. Right. So fiction. Oh, this is exciting. So fiction is heaven. Her Majesty's Royal Coven, which I've actually got on my TBR for this month. Our Wives Under the Sea, which I don't think I've got on. I've got up there. And then Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Now, I've not read any of those, so I might skip that one and, and read... And, re, and, and wait until I've read from that category. So here I am saying that I'm going to vote with you. I'm not going to vote for that category, so I will come back to that one. So the non-fiction are Ghost Signs by Stu Hennigan about poverty and the pandemic. That sounds super it's great as well that I'm, I'm actually finding out about books I didn't even know about. Other Lands, A World in the Making by Thomas Halliday. The Transgender Issue, An Argument for Justice by Sean Fay. And Without Warning and Only Sometimes, Scenes from an Unpredictable Childhood by Kit DeWall. I'm going to vote for that because I love Kit DeWall and I've read that and I found it really in interesting. Um, then poetry, I haven't read any of these poetry collections, um, but I am very interested in 100 Queer Poems. So there's 100 Queer Poems, which is an anthology by Mary Jean Chan and Andrew Macmillan. Limbic by Peter Scalpello. The Fire People, which is a collection of British, Black and Asian poetry by Lem Sisse. And Bless the Daughter, Raised by a Voice in the Head by Warson Shire. Then the young adult fiction. Oh God, this, I haven't read any of these either. Maybe I should come back and vote for these at a later date. Maybe I'll do it in one of my Friday reading vlogs. So, because I'm going to want to read some more of these. Um, All That's Left in the World by Crick J. Brown. One that I've seen around a lot. I Kiss Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. The King is Dead by Benjamin Dean. And When Our Worlds Collided by Danielle Jawando. 
And then the children's fiction is Grimwood, Let the Fur Fly by Nadia Shireen. Like a Charm by Elle McNichol. I've read other books by Elle McNichol and really enjoyed them. Loki, A Bad God's Guide to Being Good by Louis Stowell. And Scander and the Unicorn Thief by A.F. Stedman. And then breakthrough author is Miko Kawakami, Alison Oseman, Alice Oseman, Jamie Smart and Gabrielle Zevlin. So maybe I will come back and vote for that later once I've had a little more interest in, in the books. Because like I said, three of these of the books in the fiction section are already on my TBR for this month. Because I'm, I'm going to want to read this. I'm going to want to read this. I already had Her Majesty's Royal Coven on the, on the, um, on the list. And I reckon I could also read Our Wives Under the Sea. So yeah, I will do this. I will do the voting at a later date. I'm aware I've, I've lured you in by telling you I'm going to vote. But if you have voted, then do let me know down below what you would vote for. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I'm very, very excited. And as I said, uh, voting is now available between the 6th of um, October and the 30th of October. And then the winners are announced on the 8th of November at the prize ceremony, which I may well go to. Um, so yeah, thanks, for, uh, say, thanks so much to Books My Bag for sending me these books and the lovely bag. And I'll see you all again soon for another BookTube video. Goodbye!